Antonio, Argentinian DJ based in Barcelona. Happy to be in Mago again. Japan has been always special to me uh, since the first time I came in December 2001 uh, to play at Yellow and Fukuoka. It's always been my favorite country around the world. Uh, I think that there are many, many things because of that, you know, it's just many reasons. Uh, especially, probably number one is because it really, you're really going to a different place. You know, I, I'm Argentinian, but I live in Barcelona. And then even if I travel to, to New York or I'm in Germany, culture are similar. But you come to Japan and there are many different things. And most of them are amazingly interesting for me. So that's why I enjoy it always very much. Then along the years I started, uh, learning to love other things, you know, like the food, you know, I'm now I'm, I'm a big fan of Japanese food, uh, you know, and and also you know, uh, a big follower of, you know, Japanese producers, uh, musicians, you know, the culture in general. Uh, I wish I had more time to, to, to learn more every time I come, but uh, over the years, I think probably I visited Japan, maybe, I don't know, 15, 16 times. And, and each time I come, I, I still have the same feeling like, oh, I'm crazy because I'm crazy happy because I'm going to Japan. And that's something that it doesn't happen to any other country all the time. Uh, I remember the first time I came to Nagoya, uh, like, I don't know, six years ago. And, and I remember the energy of the night was amazing and I had a really, really good feeling about the night, the club, the people, you know, Ogawa, the DJ, you know, all, everybody was, was really, really friendly with me and, and they really liked the music I was playing um, and very, very instantly became like, like my favorite place along Tokyo, Tokyo and Nagoya became my favorite places in Japan to play because of, you know, the reaction of the crowd and, and, and the way you feel, you know, the atmosphere in the club is just amazing. And since then I've been coming every year and, and every time it's been getting better and better. So I'm very looking forward to another visit. Uh, I have a big respect for my friend Ogawa, you know, he, he was the first to brought me here. To, to Nagoya to play and and since then we, we have built a, a very good relationship you know um, we, we talk very similar music languages uh, we like each other musically and, and DJ wise you know he always plays with me and, and I really enjoy his music and also I play his productions in my radio shows and in my set so you know over the years uh, we become kind of like a good friends professionally and personally so and um, not to mention he's, he's the, the master of the yakiniku, which is something that I like a lot. Uh, he always takes me to the best places, you know, he knows a lot, so, you know, he's the man to know in, in Nagoya. Well, you know, the, 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 we, we, the, 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 the international DJs or global DJs, we, we have the amazing privilege. To, to be playing in different countries and, and different cultures every weekend of the year for more than a decade. And, and as I said, that's an amazing experience and opportunity. You know, you get to see and to play for, for, for many different people, you know, and, 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 and test and try uh, a, a lot of different reactions. For example, you know, it's, it's different to play in South America than playing in Russia, than playing in Australia or to play in Canada. Um, Normally festivals are, are more about energy, you know, you get a, a, you know, exposure to, to, you know, to tens of thousands of people, you know, and everything is about energy. And, and then you, you at the same time, uh, sometimes in the same weekend, you get the chance to play in a more intimate scenario, like, like, like a small club, uh, where you can go more, you know, create an atmosphere with a completely different kind of music and be more careful and be more, um, how you say, uh, uh, close to, 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 to very good aesthetics about music and, and that's what I like the most. Uh, I enjoy festivals but I, if I had to choose one I, I'd rather play clubs and the smaller clubs the better because that's where you can see eye contact to the crowd and, and you really create the, the atmosphere, you can control the atmosphere. Um, 
it's a uh, it's, it's it's a great opportunity. As I said, we have that you know that we, we travel and, and you you can compare different places, um, and that's why again uh, I, I I always like to come back to Japan because it's it's a place where you can see that you really get through, through with the music you get to the people big time. You know, it really it really makes a difference. Where well, other other places are not necessarily the same. Uh, I first I would like to say thank you to, to all the Japanese people they've been supporting me for, for the last decade since the first time I, uh, Koshi brought me here to, to Japan. Uh, I, I always grateful to him. He was the first one to support me here and since then uh, I've been coming back and back. Um, as I said, thank you for supporting me and and thank you for being such a you know good fans, not just to me, fans of, of good music, you know. Uh, this is something very important, uh, and, and, and we all DJs, as I said, not just me, we really appreciate the way Japanese fans are because you know they are very supportive, very patient, very very nice and friendly, and especially very respectful. And, and last but not least, uh, very very party people. So uh, it's, that's why it's such a pleasure to come here. I hope and I wish I, I would. I'm gonna keep coming over the years, and we will keep having a great night like that we're gonna have tonight.